Hey everybody, happy uh, day 10. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing adding in texture and um, yeah, sorry for the late start here. It was a snow day, so we were on two hour school delay. And then I have a booth that I kind of went in early set up that I'm doing uh, later tonight, a holiday booth. So it's been a weird day. But anyhow, so here we are. And uh, let me take this off. This is on a side note. Uh, check out this cool pattern. This is obviously some of my yarn, some of our chunky two ply. And it's my friend Heidi's pattern. It's uh, crochet. And I believe this one's called the Swallowtail Beanie, or uh, Headband. And I'm thinking about, we've talked about doing a uh, knit or crochet along just real quick for like a headband. So we may end up, this is one of the patterns for crochet I was considering. So let me know. Obviously I love it and wear it a lot. Let me fluff up my hair. So let's see. Today for adding in texture, I've got just some yarn I started on earlier. You can do any size, so whatever your kind of default size is, I've got just some kind of, this was left over from thick and thin day, I think. So what you're going to be doing is, you know, just prepare your fiber however, you know, for whatever size yarn it is you're wanting to do. Like I said, this is left over from the thick and thin demo. So we're going to spin along, and then just as you're spinning, like so this is, and y'all, if you did my uh, web workshop, will recognize all of these supplies, because it's what I had laying around. This is a mohair lock. Just place it, you know, going the same direction as your fiber, and you can either spin it with it, the tails kind of sticking out, you know, where they're kind of extra sticking out like that. There you can see it on my jeans pretty good. Or if you want to do a smoother fiber, you can get something like this sparkle or just a different like wool, but just a different color. And then just same thing, put it, uh, you know, smooth and then just kind of smooth it on in. So see, you can do that either smooth or bulkier. Like I said, if you don't have some sort of like extra supply, you can just use a different wool. You know, like if you're spinning wool from a braid, maybe grab a little scrap wool from a bat, that sort of thing. And uh, so one more time, so you just kind of add whatever texture you want. Just put it along the same side as a wool and just kind of let it twist around and it will lock itself into there and make some really cool texture for you. So that's on the wheel. Let me move the camera for the spindle here. Oh, moved the camera too much. Y'all would laugh if you could see my camera rig I've got here. It involves bungee cords, a selfie stick, and a guitar stand. So let's see. It uh, doesn't always hold up so great. So for a spindle, exact same idea. You know, spin whatever type of yarn you are most comfortable with. So let me get this going again. Yeah, oh, that keeps wanting. See, I was doing thin yesterday, and so it keeps wanting to come apart on me. Let's get back out to where it's actually wanting to work. There we go. So just get your twist going. Get the fiber supply. For whatever type of you know size like I said thick or thin I'm gonna do this a little thicker just because I personally find really thin trying to add stuff in especially on a drop spindle a bit aggravating so let's get this twisted on there real good there you go and like I said if you're parking it under your arm you're gonna get a good bit of twist set it under your arm and then same idea Here's a little bit of the sparkle. Lay it the same direction as your fiber. And then as you draft and then let go to let that twist run up, it will catch your sparkle or your texture as well as, see, there you go. It will catch that as well as your fiber supply. You can do the same thing with lock. Let me get this fed back up. Get it twisting. Put that down there. Continue the twist. Like I said, I'm just making this really lumpy and crazy so you can see it. 
easy. Feel free to make yours, you know, look more perfect there. And then you just will continue to add in your locks. You find the lock. Just a little piece of the lock. Just add that in with your fiber supply. And then as you are twisting, you just draft that right in. And there you go. So then as you are, see there's the lock. You just, it twists right on up with the rest of your yarn. So that's how you add texture in on a drop spindle. So let me go post this video over in Facebook and I've y'all have been so great. I've so enjoyed seeing what everybody's working on. If you have any questions, of course, go post there or you can comment on this video. So I hope you're having a good day. It's a snow day here, so it's been kind of fun and uh, I will talk to you later.